Thank you and good morning. Anna and I are here in representation or on behalf of the different teams that are implementing the project. The project is an art intervention that will be carried out here in the museum. A group of 10 teenagers who have been diagnosed of cancer by the oncology service of Baldebron University Hospital. And this art action will follow will be followed by a analysis in terms of health outcomes. So we have always been aware that teenagers will have to visit the museum with support uh, adults. We know that a severe condition diagnosis has a direct impact on patients and relatives, and this is why we thought it would be interesting to promote a parallel activity that will be entitled Art Evenings. And here in the museum, they will be entitled to work in collaboration with Ayamestras, a museum mediator, so they can share their experiences and enjoy a certain degree of well-being. The project is or stems from a partnership between MENAC, Valdebron University Hospital, and ICS. The project has not yet been implemented. It's a co-creation project. We have co-designed it between these three entities. We share expertise from both fields, culture and health. We came to the conclusion that it was necessary to ensure that museum mediators who will be engaging with patients have a have psychological support and psychological advice in case they encounter tricky situations compared to what they are used to. So we will have a follow-up group with led by psychologists and they there will be also a previous training so that the team has the necessary resources to respond to difficult situations. It could be said that the program had an excellent kick off, an excellent beginning. So art and art in health strategies are one of our priorities. So they have a specific budget, but at the same time, in this case, we, I mean, Leo Messi offered the boots with which he had beated the world scoring records, so the, 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 the shoes were sold in an auction and the funds have been used in funding the project. So the program has been possible thanks to Messi. And we started working through periodic meetings that have already been placed in the agenda in order to design the project. Within the MENAC, we are in a restructuring stage with the inclusion of Guillaume de Fac, who has been pushing for arts in health in Catalan museums. As you can imagine, this has been an important push for the museum in order to deploy this strategic line. And the person in charge of activities, Esther Fuerte, decided to set up a team which will have two pillars in order to build up this project. One pillar will be content moderation. She will lead this pillar and she will include two external partners with a great deal of experience in education. One is Natalia Esquinas, who is a an art historian. She's an expert in modernist sculpture and she's been also working in museums for many years, also here in Manac. So she's acquainted with the strategies and the collections. Also, we will incorporate Eva Villanova. Eva Villanova has been working in projects for many years. She is a pedagogist by training and she's been working in art projects in art and community health. From this core, we will start producing content proposals, which will be shared with all the health teams. And this will be, let's say, used in order to find you in the project. Natalia and Eva are the ones who will be in charge of the mediation with the youth. And I would like to underline also this part of the task, right? Because we oftentimes obsess too much about design and we do not pay enough attention to the moment when projects become a reality, the moment when mediators start working with patients. So beyond this 
pillar, the content definition pillar, there will be, or there is already, the technical coordination team. I am the leader of the technical coordination team, and this is why I'm here on behalf of all my colleagues. We have also brought on board Guillaume de Fac, and from here on, we will start producing content, and health professionals will, let's say, see whether the content is suitable for the profile of the youth we want to work with, and of course, make sure that they match the health objectives they have from their side. So we are eager to listening to participants. This has not yet been possible because the project has not kicked off. We are about to receive the authorization of the Hospital Ethics Committee, and as we receive it, we'll start recruit patients in the hospital, and we'll also open a room here in the museum, a classroom, because we want to neutralize the whole palace effect, like, oh, what am I doing in this palace? No, we want to make sure that there's a room, a classroom, a friendly classroom, personalized and tailor-made for this activity. We want to make sure that participants feel safe and feel like at home until the moment the art intervention ends. Once the well, once we receive the authorization, we'll be we are ready to start the project, to launch the project. Hello. So, when it comes to background information, we need to bear in mind that cancer teenage patients are especially vulnerable to social isolation after carrying out a bibliographic research, we have realized that there is a clear scarcity of oncologic teenage patients and art. So considering this vulnerability, we believe it is very important to promote an emotional well-being for oncologic young patients. So one of the main aims is to carry out a research on whether art activities contribute to boosting emotional well-being and self-image as well as self-confidence and tackling physical changes or the impact of physical change that cancer produces both amongst oncologic teenage patients and their relatives and this we hope will be possible in these evenings for art we will carry out a SENA survey which is validated and will also share a satisfaction survey or questionnaire with participants which has been tailor-made for this for this specific case we want to boost adaptive social activities and reduce social unrest allow them to share their experiences we want to provide them with tools in order to manage anxiety we want to bring teenagers closer to art and we want them to perceive art as a potential communication channel and last but not least we want to ensure a production let's say a certain projection of the program towards the hospital when it comes to the methodology of the research this is a quality intervention research with a total duration of one year and a half during which we will have nine art sessions focused on teenagers between 12 and 17 years old. This will happen twice a week. We will also carry out a pre and a post assessment based on the SENA survey in order to assess the impact of the intervention and carry out a statistical analysis. As we've said before, families will also be invited to be present in the evenings for art and this their participation participation will be assessed through a specific questionnaire opening doors is based on the concept of the door right even if it's an everyday life item it has a great degree of meaning so they will have to produce an art piece which will have a very special meaning they will work with a door they will work in pairs they will each pair will have one door with a frame the door will open and close and they will be able to apply different techniques on the door so they will have to work on the inspiration of the collection with many different doors in it 
and they will be also in touch with all these art pieces through the different techniques that, they will, that Eva and Natalia will use in order to transform these art pieces into a source of inspiration and also an engine for dialogue, knowledge about oneself and self-awareness using BTS techniques, which have been used in the department for many years now with very positive outcomes. They have proven to be very useful to promote dialogue and participation and to approaching art from a collective perspective. From a different perspective, Montserrat Morales will allow me to simplify things. She was the one in charge of implementing this technique to the museum. My apologies for being so simplistic. Patients will count on the technical participation of all the relevant teams here in the museum, such as the infrastructure team, as well as curators, experts in wood restoration who will advise them whenever they need them. And of course, they will enjoy the inspiration of being in direct interaction with art pieces. We have structured the nine session in different blocks or chapters. There's no time now to tell you more about how they will, let's say, be. There's Eva, Natalia, and Laia here. So if you want more information about each segment, please get in touch with us. We'll be more than pleased to share this with you. In the first block, composed by two sessions, we want to make sure that they engage with the art pieces in the second block. Uh, we will get hands-on and we will actually carry out the art action. And the third segment will be based on an encounter to exhibit the doors and to see how our creation coexists with our peers' creations. And last but not least, there will be an assessment session with the participation of all the relevant stakeholders, the youth and families. When it comes to Tardas d'Art, Evenings for Art, Laia has already defined a journey that will be adapted to the needs of the participating families. We want to make sure that families have a great time here in the museum. We want to make sure they enjoy their time in the museum. They chill and they, let's say, switch perspectives. Now to conclude, and when it comes to the relevance of the project, the outcomes of the research will allow us to identify a strategic and therapeutic tools based on art with the aim to describe and carry out art interventions in health that will be able to be implemented to other contexts and health objectives. Thank you very much.